have seen what is a software and the meaning and necessity of a soft, the discipline software engineering. Now let us learn more about how to develop the software or the software development process. More precisely, software development life cycle. In simple terms, a software development process is the process of converting an abstract idea, maybe a customer or client's idea, into concrete software system that actually implements this idea and functions accurately according to the client's requirements. And this process is a very complex process. Here, the concept of software process comes into picture. So, what is a software process? A software process is nothing but a way breaking down the complex steps into smaller steps so that each step becomes manageable. Software process are normally characterized by several phases. What we call and this is called software phases. The first of this phase is called requirements engineering. That is the phase where we come close to the customer or to the stakeholders or to whom the customer is to be developed. Here in this phase, we try to understand what type of system we need to develop. Then we use this information to design our system. Design is the high level structure. Then later on, Later on the development process, this can be come into more detailed form forms. After completing the design, we move on to coding, where we write code to implement the design. Next, we move on to the implementation phase. After implementation, we need to test our system. So, we move on to verification and validation phase where we make sure the code behaves as intended and finally into maintenance phase. The maintenance phase involves several activities like adding functionality or eliminating bugs from the code or eliminating the problems that were reported from the field after we releasing the software system to the client. So, a software lifecycle model is a particular abstraction that represents a software lifecycle. And this is the summarized form of a software, different software phases. And in a software development lifecycle, all these phases are managed. And these are the different phases that are involved in a software development process. This is called a software development life cycle and it is referred as SDLC. It defines the general steps that are taken to build software. It also defines the responsibilities for team members during each step or phase. Some of these steps may overlap but generally define the phases of the project. If some steps are not successful, the project may fall back to an earlier step. So, this software development life cycle is common for all type of softwares. But for developing different types of uh, models or different types of softwares, there are different kinds of software development models available. So, a software life cycle model is a particular abstraction that represents a software life cycle. A variety of life cycle models are available has been proposed and are based on tasks involved in developing and maintaining the software these are the common or uh, more popular software process models that are build and fix model waterfall model increment process model evolutionary process model and the unified process model in the coming sessions each of we will see the each of these models in detail so thank you.